Um, so in terms of moving on to kind of this season now, how, how would you plan to improve on last season to bring it into this season? Um, I mean, this season, whenever it may be, or the coming season, whenever it may be. I mean, uh, it's mainly going to be down to the organisation. I think I've got more uh, chance of, of organising um, um, the squad uh, and planning uh, uh, in terms of my, my recruitment and what I need and what I want. Uh, I think the last season I didn't sort of or, or didn't have the opportunity to do that as as well I would as well as I would have liked. Um, so I've certainly got the opportunity to do that now in terms of making sure uh, that, that we, we're we smarter in our recruitment and, and a lot more planning and organisation going into next season, uh, whenever that may be. I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of talk here and there, but as far as I'm concerned and I'm concerned, I'm planning for the best uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, it starting, you know, as normal uh, and then just pushing it back week on week until, you know, uh, until told otherwise. So, so um, yeah, organisation and planning. Uh, certainly with regards to sort of recruitment and what we need and what we want. Yeah, excellent. Um, in terms of the current situation, um, obviously we've not managed to play our last few games of the season, home and away, but overall, how has COVID-19 impacted the club and your plans as well? Um, obviously, it's impacted us massively in terms of the finances and, and you know, there's been no... no uh, um, Secret in that it's affected all clubs in terms of the finances and, and, and left us with a the massive hole that you know we're, we're trying to fill and you know we've had support from the local community and, and others to do that. Um, but it, it's mainly sort of the uncertainty of, of the new season uh, is the biggest impact, is you know, because there's no guarantee that it's going to start when it starts, it's supposed to start, there's no guarantee, and, and the likelihood is. Uh, that obviously it's going to be delayed and everything. So it's just the uncertainty of it. Uh, and then you take into account that, you know, the longer you go without being able to generate anything or any sort of income, the impact on the finances for that um, uh, and, and what that looks like. So, uh, yeah, in, in, you know, it's had an immense impact on, on myself and I know sports other managers and them as well. Um, but it's mainly down to the uh, uncertainty and, and the, the finances uh, around uh, what a new season looks like. Yeah, and looking into the new season, what kind of areas are you looking to strengthen in? Um, well, I'm going to sort of take it sort of back to basics, really, and, and just sort of look to, to strengthen in all areas that uh, are relevant uh, in, in terms of certainly across the, across the, across the board. Um, so... With us, you know, I like to have competition for places. Um, you know, if you look at the playoff squad that, that, that we had, um, that was up there, and we managed to finish third. You know, that team. Uh, you know, there's there's sort of two places, uh, two uh, people for every position, just about in terms of competition. It was healthy, and you know, no one could rest on the lowers. Everyone was kept on the toes. So, uh, in terms of sort of uh, uh, areas to strengthen, but are one of those key areas because obviously you know, players will, will move on. Um, but um, you know, we look to we look to strengthen sort of mainly defensive areas. I think that's the, the, the main priority at the minute. Uh, obviously, the things serious uh, injury and obviously Joe uh, uh, situation. Uh, we've got new, new example we, we certainly need to and, and what's happening with him. We've had interest elsewhere as well. So. You know, it'll certainly be a case of uh, looking to strengthen defensive areas of the first 